Tonight, the Affordable Health Care Act is still standing, still federal law, since Republican leaders were forced to pull their bill today when it became clear they did not have enough votes to pass it. Shortly after, President Trump blamed Democrats and vowed to let the Affordable Care Act do what he predicts it will do. I've been saying for the last year and a half that the best thing we can do, politically speaking, is let Obamacare explode. It is exploding right now. It's uh, many states have big problems. Almost all states have big problems. Tonight, it is still unclear what will happen next. Speaker Ryan says the GOP's failure to pass its own health care reform bill will not ruin their chance to do tax reform. Kent has been following the Washington drama, checking with members of Congress from our area and getting the opinion of a local small business owner. Kent. Yeah, thank you, Tom. You're going to hear from an award-winning small business owner in Jacksonville in just a moment. I've also been hearing from lawmakers representing Northeast Florida. Three of four say that they were ready to vote no today, but didn't get that chance or didn't need to. Republican John Rutherford says he remains committed to repealing and replacing. Republicans Ron DeSantis and Ted Yoho told me that they would oppose today's plan and they want to wait for a better bill. Well, you know, insurance and insurance coverage is a very complicated thing. It sounds simple, but when reality hits and it's affecting people, it's very complicated. Small business has been a focus of the current health care law and the proposed plan. We've heard from some owners why they like the Affordable Care Act and why it works for them. In this case, Rose Conry says it made more sense to her company to wait and see. That's what her company is still doing, following the decision by President Trump and Speaker of the House Paul Ryan to pull their bill from a vote on the House floor. So it's probably a wise that he took a step back and said, let's reevaluate a little bit before we actually roll something out, because I know what he really wants to do is make sure that the American people are covered and they're taken care of. Staff Time is an HR consulting company and a staffing firm. Rose Conry and her business partner, Kelly Moore, decided that they would provide health coverage for all their employees, even though it began to cost more for them, with a 30% increase since the Affordable Care Act went into effect. Now they're looking for compromise to make sense for everyone, and Rose Conry says she's hopeful. It does, and you know, I think what's critical here, Kent, is that both sides work together, because we have to come to a compromise. This can't be one side or another. It has to be a good compromise, and everybody has to ignore what they really want to do and focus on the American people and focus on the people it's going to affect. So some of the reason for optimism on compromise, Congressman Al Lawson, he's the only Democrat among the Northeast Florida delegation in the House. He told me over the phone tonight he hopes the no vote is an opportunity for both sides to work together and create a great health care bill. Moments later, President Trump said almost exactly the same thing. Tom, Joy.